Your husband knows me very well, in and out. So when it comes to cooking, don't hesitate. Knock at my door anytime. We will do this journey together. I've been married for 23 years. That's why I say I don't expect yours to be different. But then understand, you live in a marriage with wisdom. My dear sister, your life is now different. Those who used to club with before, you don't club with all of them anymore. The Bible says, you, you know, eagles and pigeon, they don't fly together. You stay with the pigeon, you always go there and land on the ground. You stay with the eagle, you fly higher. They motivate each other to see who goes higher than who. The second thing I'm going to tell you, never take your weakness of your husband to your friend, especially the one which is not married. You know, in my language, they say, you know, meaning, I can do this to you, but I don't mean it. As you are sitting there today, it's not everybody who's celebrating with you. Some people are thinking, I should have been the one beside Richard. So you need wisdom. Be sensitive to the spirit. Some you. people they're going to start to hit you. Some people they will cut off from you. Don't chase after them. When God proved things from your life, let God do his own. Appreciate, appreciate. Shield him. Protect his weakness. It's not a time when he has offended you. You run to the friend. You run to me, I'll tell you let's pray. Have you prayed about it? Talk to him. He's your husband first. Before you look for the third person. The second thing I'm going to tell you. This thing I'm telling you. That's the life I live. There is no pain in my house. There is no Sarah. We do things together. Never mind. You might be a doctor. I think he's a bus driver. You might be a warrior. Do things with your husband. Give him that room. A lot of marriages these days are breaking. Because there's a competitive. Because I am this, he is that. I want to be in charge. No. The Bible says he is the head of the house. You are the helper. I know sometimes, oh, I'm the helper, but I climb on the chair to change the valve. It happens. That's what we call marriage. Give him his position. And he will give you yours back. Do things together with your husband. Respect him. Honor him. Don't lose him fault to address him. Don't use his fault to be his nickname. When the two of you are angry, it's not a good time to talk. When you're all enjoying at the back room, when he's expecting another ministry, you tell him the ministry is not going to go on. We need to deal with this. Okay, now. Okay. And then you can go to the ministry. Okay. Because when he's angry, you're angry. You can never bring good results. Don't have a grudge. Talk to him. Let him be your friend. Uncle, Uncle Richard, you know me. You do anyhow. You see, see anyhow. Yes, I'm talking here. You know me. So you see this girl. I didn't see any spot on her face. Okay, now. I either do I want to see any spot in her face. Don't go to those who advise you. That a, a man should have a spare will. Do this, do this, bitter, da, da, da. You are not my Tyson. You talk it to God. She is your sister. He is your brother. I congratulate you. Wow. Speak to the great people. You will go far. This year makes me 23 years in marriage. I don't want to talk my age because many people, they don't believe it. I expect you the same. May God bless you. God protect you. God cover you. I cover your marriage with the blood of Jesus. It shall be well with you. You will both many, many children. As the Bible says, they shall not be barren. Children will be your portion. Congratulations. Welcome to the club. Wow. That was one mighty wisdom. Let's give it up. Let's give it up for the